Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, we're here in Bunker Woods. I've just slaughtered a couple of the Taken and accidentally swung my uh, <laughs> flashlight because I leaned the controller against my leg. But, um, mostly we're mulling over all the information we got from Tor, starting with the bombshell that, yes, there really is something going on to the Anderson family. They have a power some kind of connection to this place that allows them to see through changes to reality. It's really funny! When I, uh, played the first game, I got the distinct and specific impression that Tor and Odin had no idea what they were capable of. That when they'd written those songs that had either predicted or shaped the future, they did it by accident. Now I find out that the whole time they've had a much better idea of what's going on than Alan did. I wonder if they were just playing dumb in 2010. But they're being honest with uh, Saga because she's family. Well, to start things off, shout out to Clunk279 who says, The conflict of light and darkness here reminds me how the Ultraman franchise handles it. There, the Ultramen, or Giants of Light, get their power from light, which represents bonds and connections. The more they bond with others, the stronger they get. Darkness, however, represents the rejection of bonds for the sake of power, personal gains, self-pity, or obsession-slash-possessiveness towards specific people at the cost of all else. Huh. I find that very interesting. What does that say? Oh, Valhalla Nursing Home, yeah. I was right, though. It totally is one of these signs. Rounded corners and uh, the arrow are the same. Actually, that arrow is just a touch smaller, but whatever. It is the same looking arrow. Oh, no. Okay, that was, uh... Well, it wasn't the craziest one we've heard from this show, to be perfectly honest. I'm going to go ahead and, uh... Oh, I don't know if it's safe to listen to the thing here. Oh, a manuscript page. I have to go into the mine place anyway. Awesome. Rose at bingo night. Well, a lot of the pages in the first one were, like... Uh, flavor. Stand out there in the light. Maybe that'll help. Uh, yes! First things first, radio. Terry's guest call. Up next, we have, um, we had a guest lined up, but I have it written down here somewhere. What's this say? Jim... Figamore. Figamore? F Figamore. I know that name from somewhere, but... Oh, the lion's lighting up, so that could be him. Hello, you're on with Pat Main. Hey, it's Terry. I'm at the Elderwood Palace Lodge, and there's been a shootout. FBI everywhere. I think somebody's... dead. I was working the front desk when bullets just started flying. I had to hide under my desk. Oh, gosh, Terry. <laughs> Clearly a bit of embellishment on your part. But it sounds like maybe Russ Hammond's been hunting quail in the off-season again. Quail? You're not listening. They shut up the whole damn hotel. And that's not all. I swear to sweet Jesus Murphy, I saw Alan Wake walk in before it all happened. Alan Wake? Now, is that one of Mandy May's kids? Alan fucking Wake, Pat, the writer. You've talked about him on the show. He disappeared years ago. Disappeared, you say? Okay, this is all coming together now. See, people were calling in about Winnie Davis going missing, but it sounds like they have her confused with this Alan Walker fellow you're talking about. Terry, 
You were there last Sunday uh, at the market selling those cuckoo clocks when I came to visit, remember? Pat. No. And who was selling beef oh, jerky Pat. in the stall next to yours? Wendy Davis. Davis family beef jerky. Now, how could she be selling me beef jerky on Sunday and be missing since 2010? It's ridiculous. Wendy's fucking dead. I'm talking about Alan Wake. Jesus, Pat. This is serious. I'm trying to put the warning out. There's something wild going on. I gotta go in case they come back. Okay, that was uh, Jim Figamore, everybody, and he'll be running for mayor this... Uh, Wait, no, that was, uh, that was, <sighs> anyway, that's our show for today. Anyway, here's another song from Kathy's grandson, Daryl. Would you believe there wasn't a song this time either? That last, it, it when, uh, anyway, that's our show for today. Click. Like it was going really abruptly. Oh, jeez. Maybe it would be for the best if, uh. I hate that I'm saying this, for the record, but given the trouble he's causing, you know, getting people to harass the poor Davis family and all that, maybe it would be for the best if somebody unplugged his broadcast studio and didn't tell him. Oh, man. Oh, right, the other thing. Let's see. Rose at bingo night. Every night was bingo night at the Valhalla nursing home. Each time Rose drew a ball from the cage and called out its number, some of the residents shouted bingo, no matter what was on their cards. Oh dear. Some of them sat mute, their cards full, never calling out. Some of them would try to steal the ball from her. Some of them would chastise the others for acting out. It was like herding a clouder of cats. Rose didn't mind. She liked cats. She knew she was where she was supposed to be, with her little Vikings waiting for the hero to come. Tonight, the residents were restless, more so than usual. Ati was wearing Blum's coveralls again. Tor stood by the phone. Too late. Rose saw the hammer in his hand. The garden lights started to flicker, the darkness and rain pressing against the windows. The time drew nigh. Hmm. What am I actually looking at over there? It looks like... Oh, it's a cannon! Like, it's a literal bunker! Like, it's an old fucking World War II emplacement or something. I check that out right after this jump cut. Yes, there we go. Uh, shout out to Justin Jones. He says, I may have said this before, but given that people are transformed into the Taken based on their vulnerabilities, it stands to reason that Logan is Saga's. Uh, not the shotgun. Uh, she needs to start guarding her thoughts and impulses. If she doesn't, she will go from victim to monster. And then adds, you're much better off using an out-of-date first aid kit than, oh, I don't know, a leg of chicken that has been sitting inside a wall for who knows how long. But, uh, yes, on the subject of the bunker, Saga definitely nailed it. Fuck this place. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's see. Path goes down... No. How do I get over there? This way, I guess. Ah, no, that's a cliff. That's what I'm expected. Can I even go there? Is it just painted on? It might just be painted on. If I had a rocket flare on me, I would, uh... Make use of it on the very next dude I saw. It says I haven't done that yet, and that's weird. 
Well, maybe I'll head over to that cabin over there. I didn't notice that earlier. <coughs> See, what I like is that my objective is in Bright Falls, so technically, uh... Before we go there, I can go to Cauldron Lake and to Watery to get those fences I needed to get through. And one of the trailer park will be extra satisfying. Oh, I see. The shed's a safe haven, isn't it? I mean, the, the Jenny's a dead giveaway. I have a hunch, so I'm looking around the floor. Okay. Let me turn on the generator, and we'll see if a mop and bucket have met miraculously appeared, along with a large black puddle on the floor. Yeah! I call it. Certainly I'll take those bullets. Hmm. I don't recognize any of these faces of the Nazis, obviously. I'm not sure what to make of the fact that Ati looks a couple of decades younger, given that I know he has been at the oldest house since, like, the 50s, and I don't think he has changed in that time. I'm gonna go switch over to Alan. Or... Keep searching for treasure. Where was that, uh, rocket flare, actually? Right, back that way. I think I'll drop the gas tank that I picked up just earlier, since I'm actually carrying three of them right now, and that seems excessive. On second thought, I'll just make use of it. Oh, hell, I don't even see it. Oh, that worked. Fuck. You get back here, you fuck. Get back here. No, no, I did blow up two of them, didn't I? Already forgot that. Oh, I'm standing right fucking here. Save. You drop anything? Other than off this mortal coil? Well, I guess he kind of did that already. I actually find myself wondering what effect that has on their soul. Like, if you get re-, re you know, since we know that they remain retain some level of consciousness in there. So... I'm sorry? Cult of the word symbol on an arrow?
another locked box. Oh, There's does... another cult stash. Well, it doesn't have the Cult of the Word logo on it. And it's just a drawing of a light bulb. With symbols. Great. Outstanding. Amazing. Hmm. Okay, we've got the hourglass shape, we've got the cult of the word symbol, and we've got... Here we go. I don't see a symbol here, there's just nothing. Why is there paint on the wall? Backing up, am I missing something? Huh. Oh, maybe this. Oh! So the arrow led me here, so I probably start with this symbol. The arrow is pointing to the left and right. Or the triangles, even. Is that it? Down? Oh, joy. I'll take that one as the second one. Cult of, okay, okay, triangles to the right and left, then the cult of the word symbol. Oh, good. For a second, I thought his arm came off, but no, he just split in half. And now there's two of them. Oh, hell. Curses! Okay, fuck that. Okay, I need to go find that uh, rocket flare, because I have a sudden feeling it's going to come in useful. Alright, let's check that map again. On second thought, we're going to run off to the right. And by the right, I mean the left. God damn it, me! What is with me today? There's only two options, and I picked the wrong one. If I could keep the labels for things correct in my brain, that would be nice. You know? When I was very, very young, I earnestly believed my mother when she... Oh, the rocket flare is gone. Fuck! Unless I have to look at it to get it on the map. I think it might have disappeared when I died and loaded. Huh. Arrow is pointing in two different directions. Easier. Yeah, yeah, it was on the other side of this rock. If I could just get off this, you know, wall. Okay, it is still here. Sick. Uh, oh, and I actually used that thing, so I can just take that with me. Rocket flare. A single shot flare impacts heavy damage in a large area on impact. Oh, and look at that! Investigate the previously flooded area. 
Having fucking Vietnam flashbacks over here. So I guess you point the tube and yank on the rope at the end? Oop. Not sure we going to activate it for a moment there. I'm in entirely the wrong area. The symbols in the walls haven't changed. First was arrows left and right, then was the cult of the word symbol, and then I guess was the hourglass symbol. Alright, fine. Yes, brain. I will veer off to the side and go get the quick save along the way. It's funny that, uh... It's actually kind of really funny to me, as I think about it, that I have attributed two different characters in this game with the ability to perceive the world past the edits. First it was Rose, and she, you know, said the thing about Logan dying before we knew that everyone thought that. And then it was, uh... Oh, then it was Pat, because he was getting very confused with the state of the world. And then that just turned out to be dementia. But, uh... This whole fucking time, it's been Saga who has the power to see through the edits. Hey, guys! <laughs> they went flying! Neat and tidy. And a cornucopia of bullets to celebrate. Nice jacket. Reminds me of uh, Saga's. To put leather instead of plastic, so. Oh, wait. Where the fuck am I going? Yeah, 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 it was back there. See, so, yeah, it works just like the flare gun, except you throw it away when you're done. I'm going to try that combo I thought of. Oh, the light bulb, because you need the thing to see the paint, right. Okay, first... Yes, arrow is pointed to the left and right. Then, cult of the word. Then... Uh, this one... here. Did I get the wrong symbols, or did they change or something? Hmm. Alright, call to the word, and then... Maybe call to the word is last? Is it pointing to the... What? And then there's these random patches of dark cloud hanging out that don't actually do anything. I, I, I can't tell if that's a visual effect or if it's indicating that, you know, the dark is strong in the world right now. And again, it could be unintentional. Your voices. Oh boy.
Okay, I took out the giant before he did anything. That makes me feel really good about myself. Damn it. Well, now there's less monsters. I was totally blind, by the way. I just fired into the trees where I knew he was standing. Okay, not going to think about that one too hard. Put some more shells in. In fact, let's just do that all around. Another locked box. There's another cult stash. Are you okay? They were pointing out, right? They weren't pointing in. I'm even doing them backwards. It's gotta be the order, right? Except there's no fucking way to tell where the arrows start. Okay, I'm a cultist. I turn on the flashlight, and I guess it has to be this one here behind the uh, the thing. Oh, right. Dying. I should probably do something about that. Uh, mm. <sighs> Throw some pills on top. Mm. Pills here! This arrow points in this direction, which leads to that arrow, which leads to the two arrows pointing left and right outwards, not inwards, which leads to this arrow, which points over here to the one that befuddles me because it's just pointing down. So I thought it meant turn around and face that way and see this. Oh. Oh, I see, yes. So, uh... Okay, arrow is pointing out. Yes, arrow is pointing out to the left and right. There are triangles, even. The cult of the word symbol. And I look up into that tree, and it leads me... Yes, to the hourglass shape. So... Now I just feel more confident I was right. Did I fuck something up? Well, I could put him in backwards! Uh... Fuck. Oh, I'm being stupid. I see what I did wrong. It's not, it's not the cult of the word symbol. The W is upside down. Yeah, that is the cult of the word symbol. Hmm. 
Oh, I'm glad I figured that one out. We just got word that the feds have Alan Wake in custody. He came out of the lake. He's dangerous. Everyone be on high alert. We need to take the writer out. Spread the word. What do we got here? Oh, another rocket flare. Flashbang and rifle ammo. Oh, I do want that flashbang. I should go deposit those uh, bolts those dudes dropped, because I don't even have the crossbow on me at the moment. That stayed in the map, you know? Yeah, cool, flashbang. Well. Oh, jeez, the timer went and I forgot to stop, I think. In any event... I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2 when we uh, continue exploring these bunker woods. And hopefully, have to deal with fewer of the Taken, knock on wood. I don't see it happening. <laughs> uh, take care of yourselves, Burning Dog fans, and stay in the light. <laughs>